My name is Margaret Perkle. I work at Unity Point Methodist downtown in the intensive care unit. Coronavirus, COVID-19, uh, we've been at this for about nine months now. Um, and I think there was a lot of fear in the beginning. There was for me. However, I mean, just we just showed up for work. I just showed up for work um, and did my job. We weren't sure how many people we were gonna get, if the unit would be full. It was a busy time then. Uh, however, now that we're going into um, flu season and um, the winter time, I would have to say I have more fear now or fear of the unknown because the numbers are just climbing really fast and our unit is already really full. Not only our unit, but our hospital and all of our hospitals. Um, I know that we've started doubling up on beds at times and we're just at the very beginning. The end of May and the beginning of June, um, I tested positive for COVID. At first I thought, oh, this isn't so bad. And then uh, I did get pretty sick. However, in comparison to what I see here at work, it was nothing. Um, I was out for a good two weeks. The fever was the last thing, um, symptom to go away. I had body aches like I've never experienced before in my life. Um, I was sweating and would just soak my bed with sweat. Uh, and I couldn't walk to um, from one room to another without being extremely short of breath. And talking in full sentences was very difficult for me as well. Um, that is nothing in comparison to what we see here in the hospital. This time around, it seems like it's affecting people of all ages, um, younger people. And I know if you're at home and you're thinking that you don't want to wear a mask to the grocery store or you're trying to take a stance on your belief about it one way or another, if there's a possibility that wearing that mask could save somebody's life or prevent somebody from contracting COVID-19, please do it because you don't know if it's going to be your family member, your friend, that turns in a dime. I mean, that's what we've seen here is somebody texting on their phone one minute and 12 hours later they're on a ventilator and let, we have them prone on their stomach to help with their breathing. I think that seeing the younger people now is really scary. Um, I have kids in their 20s and the thought of them getting sick from this uh, hurts my heart.